Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, I want to show you guys how to create an alternate template for your product pages. Now, this is going to work for all of the different pages that you have on Shopify, except the gift card. Okay, so for those of you guys that don't know about this, we're talking about different templates like uh, the collection page. Uh, let's say like the regular page template, the product template, okay, and also to the list of collections template. So it basically is going to work the same way for all of these, okay? Now, again, for those of you guys that are watching this and are wondering, hey, where can I get all of the content for this? Guys, this is on codingphase.com. We teach you guys how to become a Shopify theme developer and we go in deep. Okay. We actually go in and teach you guys everything that you need about Shopify theme development. Definitely go check it out. Okay. If you are watching this inside of the course, Hey man, let's continue for those of you guys that are new and you still haven't started this course, come check it out. Okay. Shopify online store 2.0. Okay. One of the best courses is probably the best Shopify theme development course out here because we are actually teaching you guys everything that you need to start creating themes. Okay. Working for companies or freelancing or just selling your own themes. All right. So again, uh, this is the bundle and here we are. All right. So how can we get started? You can create a template for a page using the custom editor for your theme. And this can be done by pretty much going to your themes right here and then clicking customize all right and when you click on customize automatically you can come in here create a template it could be for either the products collection pages etc right we're going to focus on the product you click on create template and then from there you could align uh, the template however you like you're going to add the sections that you want for this template and you could do it through the editor but in this video we're going to focus on the code okay we're going to show you guys how to do it uh through coding and basically programming right um and actually this is the best way because you have access to you know all of the features of shopify and you have full control of your template so again how can we get started let's go over here to the product that json we're going to come in here and pretty much copy what's here and we're going to make a copy of this we're going to paste this inside of the template folder this is going to make a duplicate of that and then now we're going to come here and rename this. Okay. So the format that you got to use to rename this is you're going to say the name of the page, right? Or the template. So you're going to say product dot, and then now you give it an original name for the alternate template. So here I'm going to call this one, uh, let's say alternate just to keep it simple, or you could say something like, two column right if it was like a two column layout or you could say uh full screen right you could do it like that whatever you want to call it i'm just going to call this one alternate to keep it simple but just keep that format product that alternate that json now this right here as you guys can see is a template that was created with json so you can go in here and add the different sections that you have on your sections folder you could add it right here put in the name of it you can say main and then from there you could go in and put in uh, the different information for your section as you wanted to render right so for this one if we're looking here we basically have the vendor we have the text we got the different settings uppercase product that vendor we have title text so text product the metal fields right so there's like the subtitle we have the price okay we got the variant price the quantity selector so this is like the information about uh the settings that we're gonna have for this so if i go over here let me go into this one we go over here we click on products we can see what blocks are actually being shown okay so we click on product information right here okay this is the one that comes with uh, the settings for it. Okay. Now, if we look over here, these are all the different blocks. So we got text, vendor, text, style, uppercase, etc. Right. So this is exactly what we're seeing right here. The type of text, settings, textile, text, product, vendor. Now I can come here and change this around. And I could say, for example, let's say I don't want to 
show different blocks like the title, the subtitle, the price, things like that. Let's say I want to uh, take out a couple of these things, right? I could come here and let's say let's remove the variant picker. Let's also remove the quantity selector. Okay, this is just to customize it a little bit to make it different than what the original product that alternate is. And just to show you guys how you can change this. Now, of course, you want to look over here, see that, make sure you are logged in. If you're not logged in, make sure you log in. Press Control C. I'm just going to do uh, Shopify login dash dash store equals to let's say CP course tool that my Shopify dot com. This is going to open up. I click right here. Okay. It opens up a new tab. I log in. Okay. And then now I choose which partner association I want to uh, use Then from there. Once we're here, we're going to do Shopify theme serve. Okay. It's going to sync the theme. If we have any errors, it's going to tell us exactly what's the errors. Okay. Um, now, once we're done with this, let's go back over here. I'm going to refresh this. Give this a second. Click on products. And then now, as you can see, it says alternate. All right. So this is the actual alternate template that we're using. Again, it's very similar to the other one that was there, which is the main one default, right? We basically removed the variance, which is the size, the colors, right? Now for our alternate version, we basically took it out. Okay. We said, Hey, we don't want this on here. Okay. So that's why we cannot see it. Okay. Now, another thing that we can do is actually edit this, this page. So if you guys look into this, we can see that we're using a section. So it says main, right? But then it also says the type. What exactly type of section this is. So this tells us that we're using this main section and it's of the type of main product. If we look over here on the side inside of our sections folder, we can scroll down and we can see that they have a format of main dash product dot liquid. Now, this is where we actually go in and work on the liquid file and basically the HTML or CSS or even any JavaScript that you might want to add to this, this page, right? Or to this template. Now, for us to make it a completely different, uh, template without having to affect the original one, which is called product, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste this inside of the sections. Okay, so this is a copy. I'm going to rename this and I'm going to say main product dash alternate that liquid. Okay, then from there, I'm going to scroll down to the schema, right? This is the same thing as the main product that liquid, but this is where we're going to do our changes. Okay, scroll down. Give this a second. Okay. And right here, I'm just going to change the name of this. I'm just going to call this section. Let's just say product alternate like this. Give it just a name. And then now to see some changes on as far as like the HTML code for this or, you know, uh, the layout of it, I'm just going to come here and I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to say put in an H2, something simple, right? I'm going to say H2 and I'm going to say this is the new product page. Save that. Okay. And then now we can go to our product that alternate that JSON and in here where it says the type, we're going to change this to be the same way how we named this main product alternate. So say main product dash alternate. So you basically want to put in the name of your section that you have here whenever you're using this main um, section. All right. So then now let's save that. 
I'm also going to add another section. Okay. And this section, I'm going to call this one like this. I'm going to say, uh, what's the name of this uh, thing? Hero two. So I'm going to say hero two. So I'm going to call this hero dash two. And then in here, this is one of the sections that we created, a custom section that we created ourselves. And here we're going to put in the type of hero two. Okay. If you want to put in any other information, like other type of settings, uh, you know, default values that you might want to change, you could do the same way how we did it here, where we're targeting the blocks. Okay. And put in the settings for each block. Also too, you can do it for uh, the settings of your section. So it's up to you how you want to do it. Uh, but for this example, we don't need to go that deep. Okay. Let me make sure I put in a comma over here. So it says hero two. Okay. Type hero two. And then from there, what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to put in uh, the hero two to show up before the main section, which is where the product shows up with the information about the product. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say hero two shows up first. Okay. Save that. And once we save that, now we can come in here and see how it looks. Let's refresh this. Okay. And there we go. So this is the alternate. This is what people will see when they land on this alternate page. Okay. Now somebody could come in here. Okay. They click on, on the button. They can do that. Right. They could click right here on the hero tool. Change what's the image that's going to show up right here. They could do something like this. Uh, go to the next one. Change this one to, let's say, I don't know. Let's say man's fashion. Something like that. Okay. Save that. And then now let me go in and put this in as a 50%. Okay. And of course you could change the button label. You could change all of that information, but as you can see, now we created this alternate template. Okay. Now, again, if you want to go in you want to edit this, you want to add a different layout. You want this to be full with, right? This is just a uh, liquid code. This is pretty much HTML. You can look into the main product dash alternate dot liquid and change the coding here. Okay. Change it however you like. And again, this is how you create your alternate templates. Now you can also check this out. I taught this before in the previous video, but you can set up products to have specific layouts or the specific templates for, for each one of them. So let's say I wanted to come here. Okay. And I wanted to check out that product. So let's say, let's look for hats. Let's say all the hats. Okay. Or let me see what's the name of this, uh, flex fits. I don't think they are by, by hats, but let's just search Nike, for example, Nike, right? And we had Nike products right here. We could click right here. Boom, boom. We could click on edit products. And then from there we could go to where it says add fields, click on templates. And then now from here, I can go and choose the different templates that I want for each of these products. Now, one thing that I want to mention, since we are working on a development theme store, right? Just remember that for you to be able to see those product templates, right? You are gonna have to make your theme the main theme. Okay. So, how I'm doing it is I'm doing it through, uh, using source tree or basically Git, right? I'm going to commit my changes. I'm going to say, okay, main product, alternate main product, alternate. Okay. I'm going to add this click commit adding new product alternate template. Okay. I'm going to commit this, right? And 
I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna push this to staging. I'm gonna go into main. I'm gonna pull the changes that I have in main. Then I'm gonna go into staging and I'm gonna merge main into staging. Okay. I'm gonna push these changes in here. And this is just to make sure that there's no conflicts. Okay. And then now I'm gonna merge staging into the main. Now when I do this and I push it, it's going to basically um, make it that this is going to be all the changes that we created, they're gonna show up inside of of that page, right? It's gonna show up inside of the main page that we have here of our development store. So once I do this, I can go back over here, refresh this one time. Give this one second. It's a server error. Okay. I don't know if it's the internet or what it is. Okay, there you go. So Shopify <laughs> had a little hiccup. Okay, click Nike. Okay. And by the way, don't worry about this. The reason why this is showing it is because uh, it had an issue um, with what we was doing. We was basically changing different uh, types of, you know, branches at the same time while that was running. So don't worry about that. So then now once we do this, I'm going to come in, search Nike, click right here, edit products. Okay. Click on templates. And then now I can see my product alternate. Now, for anybody that's not a developer and is looking at this and are wondering, wait, what the hell is this source tree? What is this Git and GitHub, right? Anybody that's watching this, uh, maybe on YouTube or any other platform that might be out there, just remember that if you do some changes inside of your theme on your regular text editor on your local environment, you can always just upload the zip file okay of your new changes and just upload it through here add themes upload zip okay that's all it really means or if you really wanted to do and, and customize this on the editor of shopify yourself you could always click on customize and everything that i show you guys on how to do through here you can always do it right here by coming in here where it says edit code and this is going to allow you to edit the code of your live theme. Now, remember, <laughs> this is a live theme. If you have it as your main theme, meaning that if you have it right here, if it's you're trying to edit things inside of your, your current theme, that's your live website. Just keep that in mind, right? I don't recommend ever working directly on your main, main theme. You should always work on a copy of it somewhere over here okay because you could do the same thing same way how i have it here shopify to course uh staging click on customize do your customizations on this version click on edit code and go through this process through here okay because remember that main one is your main website so if you break something there remember that's your main website so your website will be down or you could mess it up so just make a copy of it all right but if you're watching this video you most likely know this so i'm just putting it out there just in case somebody does bump into this video in the future and yeah man okay so anyways guys listen i'm gonna stop right here i'm gonna see you guys in the next video but again by the way for all of you guys that are watching this for the first time and maybe you don't know uh, how to do any of these things guys come check out codingphase.com come learn okay shopify is a great platform uh, but you're going to need some training. You're going to need somebody to hold your hand, teach you all of those things. But it's very simple, very straightforward. Once you understand how to do those things, we have Shopify theme development, Shopify app development. Uh, pretty much all of the bundles are there. Okay. And again, you have a very flexible uh, payment gateway, right? With us. So it's basically you can sign up for a monthly subscription, get everything that you need from here to here. Okay. Anything that has the fire emojis, you're going to have to either buy the whole bundle or sign up for a whole yearly subscription, which gives you access to everything on the website. 
okay so it's up to you uh what you want to do but you know what i'm always a, a cool dude i'm gonna give you a 20 percent off on the description of this video just in case you want it so definitely go check it out all right so anyways guys super excited to get into the next few things of this course and yeah man i'll see you guys later bye